Congratulations to all those that got in. HIV and AIDS remains a thorn in the foot of Africa, including Uganda, often causing a denial and sometimes fighting over poverty among couples. Now, this is partly attributed to cultural practices that dictate that a woman shouldn't question anything that a man says or any decision that he makes. This makes it difficult for a couple to negotiate safe sex, a reason why government needs to strengthen the Domestic Violence Act to avoid vulnerability. Take a look. Kasense Roland Insight in Masaka needs no description on how serious the prevalence of HIV AIDS is and how it is perceived. It is a place where to some, life is not easy, especially when one is HIV positive. Thirty-eight-year-old Mary Nagunja, who has lived here for years, is the best example to this. <laughs> She lost her parents and lives on the mercy of good Samaritans. A formerly proud mother of four lost three of her children, including the family's breadwinner, her husband. Even when she has not been depressed to the extent of resorting to alcohol consumption, her biggest challenge remains feeding. Naguja may have been lucky not to be subjected to any attempt of inheritance by her husband's relatives, but that is not enough to rule out the existence of the practice. It is indicated that a meaningful decrease in AIDS risks in Uganda society will require changes in male behaviors and attitudes concerning gender relationship and sexuality. On a bright, sunny afternoon of Sunday 1st December 2019, which is the world's designated AIDS day, Uganda's vice president addresses the gathering in Kayunga district. He points out the continuous existence of outdated traditional and cultural practices that he says continue to fuel the spread of HIV AIDS. Traditional practices such as widow, inheritance, polygamy, and wife sharing are significant factors in HIV transmission. Unfortunately, in such practices as widow inheritance, women often have little or no say, although the trend has started changing. This is Neria, a late 1990s movie acted in the Southern African country of Zimbabwe with a tagline depicting greed. In her role as a widow, who has just lost her husband, renowned actress Jessesi Mungoshi portrays the changing times against such barbaric acts. Have you chosen not to remarry? Sekuru. I have my own life to live. Such could be the strong stance and empowerment that many women in Africa, including Uganda, could be lacking. It is such disempowerment that caused 50-year-old Flavia Chomugisha her marriage. Chomugisha is the executive director of Action for Health, Human Rights and HIV AIDS. It is a health rights advocacy organization dedicated to raising awareness of the human rights aspects of health and the quality of health care 
for all Ugandans. 1994 was the year when she was diagnosed with HIV AIDS. News which upon sharing neither perplexed nor surprised her husband. I think maybe he already knew because he only asked how could you be pregnant and yet so I just went I went to my sister. I remember going to my sister and then he came looking for me and we had a friend Sam he used to work with the Case Western Reserve University but also in Mulago and they were dealing with he was in the lab so he would take our blood, we agreed we would do the CD4. At that time CD4 we had not known. Mm -hmm. But me I knew that he would check our blood regularly. So we, we, we managed to live as such. But if she took it lightly, it was just a matter of time for the reason behind her husband's strange reaction to be manifested. It took only three years and this is what happened. My husband used to have a briefcase that for the last several years I've been, I've been staying with him. It was never locked. So one day I come, I touch it. It is locked. I'm like, what is, what has happened finally? Because when you find something locked in a place where you have not been looking, then you know there are certain trust issues. So I sat, it had these numbers. I sat 000, 000, 001, that side open. 000, 000, until I want to, until I open. So then I did find that um, he had a company which was for him, his mom, and my boys, two boys. So I think that was around, uh, not 97, it was around 1990. Then I found he had uh, registered assets, what we owned in those names. So me, I wasn't there. By that time, I had produced my last daughter. That was around 99. So I didn't even, I, I shed a little bit of tears, but then afterwards I said, why am I crying? Mm -hmm. After all, the boys are what? Are also exactly. part of that. Mm -hmm. But then I looked at myself and my daughter. And if she thought going back to school would create harmony, it only marked the beginning of the end to her marriage. I said I cannot stand not going to school. Because if a man you're living with, a person you are living with, denies you education, they actually don't love you. It was after frustration from human rights bodies whose redress she had sought that she gave up and moved on. There were three partners, Jisache, Muria Gonja, and another one. So the third one, the husband was working as a junior to my husband in the, in the authority they were working in. So my husband threatened the husband and then they pulled out of my case. Such is trauma that comes with news of one being HIV positive. Chomugisha may have been fortunate enough not to lose her life, but not 35-year-old Emmanuel to see me. Tosime was a driver with the China Chongqing International Construction Company based in Hoima in western Uganda. <laughs> he was allegedly hit on the head by his wife Joan Trinomjuni using an axe that killed him instantly. She accused him of being HIV positive and enrolling for antiretroviral therapy without her knowledge. <laughs> This is just an example of death resulting from domestic violence as a result of a spouse keeping HIV status a secret from his partner. It affirms police figures that acknowledge the prevalence of gender-based violence, sometimes with a linkage to HIV AIDS. In our next episode, we seek to explore more of this in detail. Henry Okurut, UBC. Thank you, Henry Okurut. Please stay safe and go find out what your status is in regards to HIV and AIDS. In more stories. In